Hi everyone, my name is Rajeshekha. Welcome to my channel. This video is about another virtual studio DMX Lite Stem Plate upgraded for you all. This map is free in Unreal Engine Marketplace. It's, I have customized few things on set and placed DMX lights for the set and programmed it using Camsys. People who are new to DMX in Unreal Engine and Camsys, check the description to understand the basics in the order and then come back to this video. Once you have downloaded the Unreal Engine map and Camsys show file, run the virtual studio map. It supports Unreal Engine 5.1 and above. Place the Camsys show file in Documents, Magic Queue and Show Folder. The first thing you would notice is that the set is already lit up pretty good using the mod lights, ring lights, so on. There are about 170 of them. They might appear to dominate the DMX lights which we are going to test. To tackle these built-in lights, you can either turn them off or using post-process volume to control overall set brightness so that DMX lights visibility is good. I'll show you both method now. Now that we have taken care of the set lights, let's proceed to the next step. I have categorized all the DMX lights in Outliner and every other map stuffs are kept separate. Few Sharpie lights in the rear doesn't respond to Camsys trigger every time you restart the map. I'm not sure why it's happening, we'll update if I come across any solution for it. To fix that, every time you restart the Unreal Engine map, go to Outliner and select all rear Sharpies in rear top folder, go to Details tab, drop the intensity to any value and then set it back to what it was. If you have installed Camsys for the first time, check the shots I have uploaded to fix common issues between Unreal Engine and Camsys. Run the Camsys program. Go to File, New, choose Yes and then pick Normal Live. Go to File again, Open Load Show. Pick the Camsys Show file, which is vs.show. Click full button to see all the controls. Click layout 1, lay 1 button to see the master group and individual group of lights. Lay 2 which is layout 2 is default 4 window layout. Layout 3 is for executors for all the light groups positions and to the right of it is sample effects for each and every position. You can customize the look and effects type of any light using the following method. You can also record any new effects or positions as you wish.
not record on layout as you might overwrite existing layout. There are three pages of pre-programmed playback faders at the bottom. You can record new ones to the empty slots or customize the existing ones. There is a music playback button rolling over to all pages. It's kept for timeline method. Do not record anything to it. To know the basics of using timeline method, follow the tutorial I've posted on timeline in my channel. The timeline doesn't record any activity on layout 3, which is the executor's page. What I meant to say is, if you happen to click uh, any light positions and try to play a sample effects, that information doesn't get recorded in timeline for some reason. But the pre-programmed faders or anything which you record new without using executor will work perfectly in timeline. There should be an option to record executor commands as well. We'll keep you all posted if I come across that solution. The executor action, which is the layout 3, can be recorded on Unreal Engine directly using Take Recorder though, that's for information. Those are important points to keep in mind while trying to use this template. You can play around with the entire map and Camps' show file as well. Keep a separate copy of Unreal Engine map and Camps' show file to roll back if something goes wrong. To get access to this template, check the description of this video. Hope this video was helpful to anyone who is planning to make use of this template. See you all soon on another video. I am Raj Shekhar. Take care.